the hell is this? What? son isn't doodling again. She's drawing? Yeah. What's Matt, drawing? just do your job. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like you. I know. Actually, it's not too bad. Okay, we are looking for a 99 Ford Explorer. Troy and I, we were picking up a repo over in um, Arlita. Apparently, um, a few of the uh, other local repo companies in the in the valley had uh, tried to pick up this car and had uh, very little success at it. What? Uh, she's got under comments here this man, very mouthy, very violent over the phone, use caution. Everybody's mouthing over the phone. But a person is a different thing. Kind of like in the morning when you call me, like, hurry up, Berlin! <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> 97 Explorer is the most exciting thing in the world to go repo, but uh, it does put you on your guard when you go to pick the car up. Do you think maybe they messed up and it's an expedition? Let's sit down there, huh? Let's see Explorer. No. You know what? Just for shits and grins, dude. Should I go check that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. I don't want to. Hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. You know, we went to the house and uh, the car was not parked outside. Sometimes it happens where there's a little miscommunication somehow between either the finance company or ourselves, and we had an order for an Explorer. There was an expedition outside. It's happened before where they tell us this one type of car ends up being a different type of car. That's the reason the main thing you have to do when you see your vehicle is vent the car. The vent tells you everything it is or it's not. Roy. Yeah. Up on the left. There's an Explorer up on the left. Oh, I see it. Got a business, 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 business I bet you that's our dog, bro. It's got a logo. I bet that's our dog. Here. Hey! This one? Yeah. Go Jacks, baby. Grab the Go Jacks. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Well, you know, Gojax is, is, um, is a, basically what it is. It's a jack on the go. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a tool that we use to put on the tires of the car, raise the car up, and you can basically maneuver the car in any direction that you want. I mean, as you can see, we got there, vent the car, three, four seconds, we pump it up, and we move it to the position that we want. What's the fun? Easy, easy, easy. Check if, it's, if the string was locked. So we can pick the car up, uh, and that's when the fun started. Hey, are you the owner? This is my, yeah, this is my car. Okay, what? you need to relax. You need to relax. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have this. Hold on. Look me, I have this. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Listen, calm down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You got the report? We have a repossession order for your car. Repossession my car? No, I don't give to you my car. Okay. I don't give you. Listen, listen, listen. This is not a crash, okay? Do you speak English? I speak English. Okay, I'm I'm having trouble understanding you. Okay, well, so yeah. I'm having trouble understanding you. Yeah. Okay, you need to put that away. Please step back. Please step back. You need to relax. Okay. We have an order to repossess your vehicle. Yeah. You make the payment that you owe and they'll return it back to you. Okay? I understand I have an accent, but I really couldn't understand nothing this guy was saying. His accent was way worse than mine. So with my accent and his accent, I'm like, do you speak English? He's like, yeah, I speak English. Do you speak English? I'm like, I think so. <laughs> That's all you have to do. I think you wrong because uh, I was paid this month, okay? Okay, you haven't been paid for four months already, okay? You haven't made the payment for four months. Once you make the payment, you get it back. Simple as that. Yeah, okay, get off my way. Huh? What the hell? What the hell is your problem? Hey, 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 hey Bill, you're making this hey, worse. Hey, Easy. Hey, relax. If you're stupid enough to go break up your own car, I'm not gonna get in your way. I'm gonna sit there and enjoy the show. You know, I've usually had the situation where someone comes out and they wanna harm us or wanna harm our vehicle. I never really had the situation when the man comes out and harms his own vehicle. I mean, the chances of him not getting it back is, if he's not getting it back. All right, Ford, back up to the car. Oh, what do you do? He broke the windows, oh! Tell him to stop, I'm calling the cops. Easy. Hey, I'm calling the cops. Tell right him to call the cops. 
Okay. Matt, Boy, you're off center. Just, 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 just get in the, okay. in the truck, please. Hey. Get in the truck. Get in, get in the truck. There's no way he's gonna get it back. I mean, he broke the window. He broke the mirror, and he was just going crazy. I'm trying to talk to him, and he doesn't want to listen. Troy decided to uh, just get out of there, and we were going to call the police. We were just going to go down the end of the street and call the police. Hey, hey relax. Hey, get away from the truck. The only thing that did piss me off was when he hit my truck, or our truck, uh, with the pipe wrench. There's cops right there. There's cops right there. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, but not. Hey, 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 right here, right here. Hi. My name is Matt Birch. I'm a repossessor. I'm repossessing a car in the back alleyway back there. The registered owner just went ballistic, attacked my crew, attacked me, and just totally destroyed his vehicle back there. Long story short, a uh, police officer arrived. Um, I, I seem to have a very good rapport with the police officers. Um, so I, I talked to the police officer. I told him exactly what was going on. He went down there, told us to wait. He went down. You guys need to get those cameras off him. Get those cameras off that officer. Get the camera off the officer. The, the deal with the camera people is, is that they're not, they're not, they're not repossessors. They're not bounty hunters. They don't know how to deal with certain people. And it's very awkward for them. You know, they keep getting in my way. They, they don't listen to what I have to say. The common sense dictates when you're dealing with certain people, get the hell out of the way. <laughs> so I let Matt go talk to him. Matt was talking to him very calmly. Told him exactly what happened. The gentleman understood what was going on. And he let us go. He let us grab the car, arrested him. We're not going to press charges against him. Now, if the finance company wants to press charges against him, that's their business. But we're not going to do it. All we want to do is just get our vehicle and get out of there. Hey, this time, I was not to blame for anything on this. I didn't do shit. My impression of the man when he came out, um, really wasn't uh, that threatening. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. I've been in hundreds of physical altercations with people. Um, and I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't get this pretty by underestimating anybody. Straight up. Okay, I know you're living in your car, brother, but listen up, man. You gotta Let me, you gotta Let me see your hands. What are you doing? This, this really sucks over here. Bro, I don't, I don't think I understand. Why the hell are we looking for a car that we don't even know the address? Just go by the area. Well, she, she said that it was in, in this area. He's been, he's been sleeping in his car, right? Bro, but that's like, if you don't give me a cross street, or I know, two I know. Streets meeting together. How am I supposed to just drive by every single street trying to figure out some, where it's at? That's something better to do. <laughs> All right, we're looking at his name is uh, Chris Vanderl. Vanderhurst. 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 Sounds like a good old fashioned German Irish name. What kind of car is it? We are looking for a 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer. That's the plate. Ooh, that's our car. 879. That's it. Yes. That's it. That's our shit right there. And we can do shit with the Buddha. Well, you know, you know those other two dickheads I used to work for used to let me take the cars, man. Are you sure? Well, my understanding is we can't take it. Why don't you, um, why don't you call it a jefe and see what he has to say? I'm gonna check it out. Okay. You know what? Matt says that I was whining, but, you know, the truth is that Matt used to work for other repo companies in the past. Unfortunately, those other repo companies don't give a crap about anything. If their car has a boot, they'll pick it up, although you're not supposed to. If there's people inside of the car, they'll hook up the car when you're not supposed to. They didn't care about anything. And Matt came to us with that idea that he does things his way, and that's it. Hey. 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 What? Hey, man. Are you Chris Vanderhurst? Yeah, what's going on? This car's up for repossession, Chris. You're not exactly what I expected. We can't take What do you mean repossession? The car's up for repossession, Why? brother. It's four, it's four, it. it's take four payments behind. Okay. I, saw, I made a couple of payments. <laughs> okay, I know you're living in your car, brother, but listen up, man. You gotta, you gotta come, come your brain. You gotta come see your, your hands. Brain. What are you doing? Cars up to repossession. What do you want me to do? You can't just, just act like you didn't see it. No, it doesn't work that way. And Matt's outside talking to a gentleman that was sitting inside the car, but I have a problem. The car has a boot. You know, I was almost 90% sure that we weren't going to be able to purchase because of the fact that it has a city boot on. 
and um, I had to verify with Lou. Yes, yeah, a city, but we can't touch it. Matt, of course, he doesn't think that we have to do that. He just wants to hook up and go and doesn't really care. And I'm trying to sit down and explain to the guy that we're not taking it. There's nothing I can do about it. The only thing I can do is call City and have City come and pick up the car. And you're still going to lose it, but you're not going to lose it by us. Just look out for me, brother. I understand that, but you haven't made your payments. And I just really didn't want the guy to touch me. And that's all there was to it. Relax! Man! There is shit we can do, bro! And before I can even explain all that, a guy just goes and starts slapping Matt and it takes off. There is shit we can do, we can't even take the car! Relax, man! Did he hurt you? No. So what are you going crazy for? He laid a hand on me for If you ever pay attention to our repos, I never get into trouble. I never get into confrontations with people. He does. Why? Because he's hothead, man. He always wants to be fighting and arguing and yelling because he's big and, you know, whatever. But he's my friend. I love him. What can I say? We can't take the car. Check with the keys are in it, though. Yep. We're going to lock the car. The keys are in it. We can't touch it. All right, did you call him? What did he say? We can't, legally, we can't touch it. Well, we're gonna leave it here? We can't take it. That's why I just lock it, take the keys with He can't go nowhere. Afterwards, after being told uh, that it was illegal to take the boot, it makes me look stupid, for one. Secondly, it doesn't bother me as much because now I know the law. Where'd he go? I was a little rabbit ass ran up the street. Let me tell you what happened. Dude, you need to relax, bro. Why do I gotta relax when these put their hands on me all the time? Why am I gotta relax? Dude, he's skinny. What is he gonna do to you? He laid a hand on me for as skinny as he is. Is he gonna hurt you? I think Matt was maybe just a little overdoing it. I mean, the guy was, yeah, he was tall, but he was skinny. I mean, what is he gonna do to Matt? Nothing. I mean, he'd slap him, but that's like any girl hitting him. I mean, he gets slapped by girls almost every day. No big deal. You need to stop no. You need to get off of it. Sometimes, you know, you got to teach your guys a lesson. And, uh, you know, I think they needed some time to drive and think. Everyone, <laughs> especially Sonia, hates going far to do a repo. Why? Because they're ranches, they're far apart from each other. Anything can happen over there. So, you know, I had to send them real, real far away, you know? And uh, that's what I did. That's why I'm the boss. Mondo's not picking up. Hold on for one second, let me see if I can reach you. There he comes. You found it. I'm glad you came, bro, because the phones don't work down here. The address is up there, so what I'm going to do is say, follow me. Because I can't call you to tell you if it's there or not. Yeah, just be behind me. Keep, keep a little distance behind just to make sure it's there. Once it's there and you see me go like this, just start rolling in, okay? You know, we have to call Mando and and tell Mando, hey, bro, can you be there? Mando never really tells us no. Mando's like, he's ready to go. Just to let you know, it should be there, OK? Because the finance company came, sent an agent out there to get a payment. They only paid partially, OK? And they said that it, they saw it there. So it should be there. You know, going anywhere with Linda and Sonia is probably one of the biggest pains in the asses you'll ever deal with in your entire life. None of us were really happy that we had to pretty much go to the middle of nowhere. I would rather sit and watch Lou eat than drive around with those two for the rest of the day, okay? We're looking for Mr. Bill. Uh, let's see. Mr. Bill? Mr. Bill. <laughs> we're looking for Kubota, uh, 2005, and it's orange. To tell you the truth, I don't even know what the hell that thing looks like. I just know it's a tractor. tractor. The finance company had basically told us that they had sent out a collector to uh, go get the payment from the tractor that we were going to repossess, obviously. They paid half a payment, so uh, obviously the guy that went out there saw that, that the tractor was there, so we were going with our fingers crossed. There's a tractor there. And there's someone working on the yard. Do 
my favorite. Stick your hand out and, and go like this for my Country folk, they're usually pretty mild-mannered. You know, so I, I thought, yeah, you know, I thought this was going to be a gimme because the vehicle was right there. I'm Matt, I'm Matt Birch. I'm from EGA Recovery. Apparently, um, you're about three payments late on the Kabuta um, tractor. We went onto the property. We saw the tractor. And then we were confronted by, by a tall gentleman, obviously the owner of the tractor. Listen, I, I talked to your lady at the credit department. What's her name? Mary well, it's Ann. not my lady. You I don't know. I lady. talked to her. I told her my payments were late. I'm running a little behind. She said that was fine. She said I, she said I could have a few extra weeks. <clears throat> Bill, I'm gonna get that check in as soon as I can, sir. Bill, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that they sent me out here for a reason. Could you please? What is this? Could you turn these cameras off? No, I look at the reason why they're there is to make sure that nothing else is misunderstood on this repossession. Okay. The gentleman in question seemed very uh, much in control of himself. What are you talking about repossession? That's right, repossession. They're not going to get a repossession. We have an order for repossession for this Man, tractor. Bill, Bill. Listen, you didn't get it you right. Sir, you need to get off this property right now. <laughs> You need to get off this property. This is private property, listen, sir. You don't have any listen, permission to be on this. As long as I have an order for repossession, no I have the right to well, be on this property. Okay? Well, let's talk about it, ma'am. Okay, what would you like to talk about? I want to talk. What, what the hell's going on? Go ahead and take it. Easy, guys. What the hell are y'all doing? Get the hell off my property. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't. Easy. Easy. What, what the hell is he doing? Easy. You know, the, the, the two gentlemen came out, and uh, they seemed to give us a little bit of a problem. You know, um, luckily it was four of us and there was just two of them. Bill, get the f off my land! Hey, you need to relax. You need to stop. No. You need to get off of this damn tractor. Hey, you need everybody to get the hell out of here. Get this out of here. Everybody, everybody, you know, watch out. I think I need everybody to calm down. Watch out. You need to stop. No. You need to get off of this damn tractor. Hey, you need to get the hell down. out of here. Get this out of here. Everybody, everybody watch out. You know, watch out. I think I need everybody to calm down. Watch out, Junior. Yeah, come on. Come on, Taylor. One of the guys grabs some kind of rake or something, try to put it on Sonia's throat, and Sonia really get upset, and that was definitely a no-no for Matt. Matt just went off and started pushing people. At that point, the only thing I wanted to do was just get the tractor as close as I could to the flatbed so he can get it out there and try to help Matt. You can't. You're hey! 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 Knock that off, man! You knocked that off. That's our property no, right there. No, it's mine now. Back up! 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 Right now! Right now! Back up! Right now! Now I'm not playing with you now. Back up! Back up! Show you back up! Show you back up! Back up! I'll wreck this thing right outside your stupid yeah, head. Back, 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 back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Get out of the truck, Sonia! As much as I dislike Sonia, <clears throat> nobody goes after one of my crew members. Nobody. Okay? Especially some dumb country <laughs> like this. Oh, you're trash! Get out of here! Get in the truck! Yeah, Daddy, what are we gonna do now? Matt? Where's Matt? I know Matt likes to help and he always gets rolling, you know? But um, I don't like the Superman hero kind of thing, and that's what kind of pissed me off about Matt. Who's got the other one? Listen. Put him away for the truck, Luke! Once we have the property secure, we need to get out of the property. You know, that's just the bottom line. We need to go. We don't need to be watching or looking around to see what they're going to bring out next or if they're going to let the damn cows come out, you know? Get out of Hollywood, <laughs> weirdos. 